Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome to Weekly One Take. This is just a one clip video showing you something cool that's happening in my kitchen. Uh, today I have these jam scraps. Um, if you saw my blackberry and raspberry jam making video, you would have seen that I took the seeds and scraps and I froze them in ice cube trays and I popped them out of the ice cube trays. They worked out really nice um, and then I just put them in this container and I keep them in my freezer and I'm using these to flavor kombucha. So I did this for the first time today. This is a white tea kombucha so the tea is a little bit lighter colored and I like to do white or green tea when I do like fruit flavors because I feel like it has a lighter tea flavor so the fruit flavor can come out more. Um, but basically this has uh, this is finished kombucha so basically I took the scoby out and I took a small amount to start my next batch and then I put, I think I put three cubes of the raspberry in and you can see they're there. I'm not sure if these are just kind of clumped together or if they're still frozen. I just chucked them in still frozen. But I'm going to let this sort of infuse for you know all day and um, we'll see how it turns out. I will strain those seeds off when I bottle it and I will probably add a little bit of extra priming sugar when I bottle it to get some fizz. Uh, if you want to see my video on how to make kombucha, I will link that and the yeah. jam making video down below so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, but this looks really good. It gives a lot of flavor and these are just scraps that would have probably gone in the compost otherwise. So I did this with um, the cranberry skins when I made my jellied cranberry sauce and it was so good. It, it really did a good job of flavoring the uh, kombucha and like I said it would have been scraps otherwise so that is how I use those hopefully you like this video if you did give my video a thumbs up I'll see you guys next time bye